First of all, I would like to thank you for this meeting. It is a great honor to sit at the same table with someone like you. Go on. I've been watching your work for years, and you can't imagine how glad I am to be able to talk to you in person. Good evening. Can I take your order? Water, please. Have you made up your mind? Not for now, but if something change, you know where to look for me. So, you can start. I don't know where to start. You won the contest. I don't promise we'll be working together for sure. But take this as an introductory interview. Just remember, no recording. I'm very sensitive about that. No, I don't intend to. Your people took my phone away anyway. Well, that's good. First, what is YouTube for you? You have to ask yourself this question at the very beginning. Are you someone who uploads just for some unknown satisfaction, or do you treat it as a business? I do not know. What do you do? I'm a salesman. I mean what do you do on YouTube? What is the theme of your channel? Some computer programs, applications, mostly tutorials on how to do something. And you do it for the money, right? I don't know. It would be good to earn something, but I don't think about it right now. How many subscribers do you have? 8,000. For how long have you been doing this? A year, maybe a little longer. That's good. Really? No, I'm just kidding, it's pretty bad if you ask me. Have you thought about changing your audience? Audience? Yes, your target. You said you were creating some kind of tutorials, so your viewers must be at least in their teens. Yeah, 18 to 24, I checked, YouTube statistics. But you know how it is about the stats. You know. Instead of watching some boring lessons from a sad guy like you, kids prefer to watch some wacky internet goofball like me. With all due respect, not only children watch YouTube. You don't understand. Come here. Business or hobby? Because if it is a hobby, then maybe in a year you will have 10,000 subscribers and in the next two years, 15. However, if you want to enter the big league, do what I do. Should I jump into a swimming pool filled with jelly beans? I live in a flat and I can't afford a home. Do you think a 30 year old man jumps into a pool full of gummy bears just for fun? You are 30 years old? Yeah, I turn 30 in June. I thought you like 23. Because I still wear a hat. If you had seen my bald spots, you would know. So you want to know why 30 years old man is doing this? For money. Bingo. This business is all about luring the viewer, wrapping him around your finger. And then only what you have to do is to reach to their wallet and transfer all the cash to your own. And no matter if it's on some t-shirts or other crap, some unnecessary sponsorships. If the product is good, I don't know why we can't promote it. Maybe in your industry, but in mine, it's different. But I like how you think, I really like it, you slowly changing your point of view. How so? You will see. Okay, lesson one. Neither you nor I are some talented individuals who will be adored for decades. We can agree. I think so. So, how much time do you think you have on YouTube before they get bored of you? I don't know. 10, 15 years. If you live 15 years on YouTube, I will personally find you and give you a job in the middle of the street. Really? No. In this business you are 4 to 5 years max. And that's if you really are good. Only if you are able to stay on the wave of popularity. Do you know how many channels there are with millions of subscriptions that now barely get 10,000 views? The answer is, a lot. And this is not their fault. There was no drama, they did not alienate half of the internet, just bit by bit every month a certain portion of the audience evaporated, like air from a balloon. Besides, you and I don't know what the YouTube algorithm is about, in fact, they don't know Ata. One time this is promoted, and this time this is pushed. So there will be a point that someone flips the switch and everything will be all f***ed up, and you don't even notice when your career is gone. So now we come to lesson 2. What do you think about your subscribers? I don't know. Who are they? Someone like me. Someone who needs help in a certain field. No, you don't. You just don't know, because how can you know that, right? Have you ever been in Africa? No sir. I was there at some point in my life, and I learned a lot there. I was walking around, pretending to help them in front of the camera, pretending to care what problems they had. 
But then I went back to my villa in LA. And until this conversation between you and me, I hadn't even thought of them for a moment of my life. And you know why? No. Because I don't know them. Same as you. You see, I am here and they are there. When I sit on the beach in Miami, they are trying to repair a roof in their shack outside the town. They are not present in my life. So why don't you just take all their cash? Are you kidding me? No, I'm honest with you. Either you do that, or in a year or two when your views will go down to the drain. When you stop being an e-celeb and you take a job in some 7-Eleven, you will look at the stars and tell yourself, at least I'm a decent guy. Or, you grow a pair of balls and start doing NFTs, crypto, and other shit that you can start to shove into your audience throats. We not talking about some $50,000 or $100,000 worth of scam. Because if you been keeping track of the numbers, at the end of the day, we are someone that's doing in retail. Take me for example. 23 million active subscribers and if, let's say, we take 5 to 10% of subscribers who will definitely buy our product because we are dealing with impressionable kids. And when you convince them to buy something from you for, let's say $20. Right now we are talking about surreal numbers, now we are talking about the amount of hard cash that anyone would die for. Don't look at me like that. No, I just. Hey, I treat them the same as they treat me. I keep them entertained for a few years just to get something in return, don't hate the player, hate the game. Besides, they will forgive you anyway. As you become their idol, even hitting a pregnant nun on the crosswalk will not get you cancelled. Do you think I don't read these comments under my videos, all these kids that are begging me to send them money for Xbox, how they search for every video that is criticizing me? just to brush all the argument with jealousy accusation and leeching. The best ones are when the title suggests an attack on my character but then turns out that, the creator is licking my ass. And under such videos, you can find hundreds of comments from children who are so glad that I wasn't criticized here. And I am also happy that you running around and policing on my behalf. Do you know how to create such behavior in your audience? No I do not know. Do you have friends? I have a few. Ask them to hang around with you in your videos. Ask them to pretend to have a good time. Ask them to tell your viewers how cool you are and how much of a great time they have had with you. And after a while, kids with no friends, they will start migrating towards you. You see, some have difficulty to the difference between seeing someone on the screen and someone in real life and having my face in front of them every second day causes them to believe that in fact, I am so close to them, that they can touch me. And after a while, when they are yours, when they absorb your speech pattern, style, and humor, they will bring their parents credit card to you, and believe me, they themselves will be happy to empty all the bank account. Here is your water sir. Thank you. Anything else? No thank you. It took her a long time to bring this order. Unless she went to Antarctica to get this water for you. No, it's just ordinary tap water. What I said before, even she, doesn't care about you. And sooner you realize that the better. Tell me, how old is she? The waitress? 20, 25 maybe. 20 you say? A bit too old for my taste. Let me tell you something, I like you. You know how to listen and not just clap each time I say something silly. So let me tell you this, I will take you in. You will get a room in my place, your own editor, a bit of cash for a start, a gym pass and a hairdresser. Although I don't think you need it. So do we have a deal? Yeah, sure. <laughs>